Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach and today I'm talking about habits that make you look insecure and unattractive to women. Okay, so if you want to turn a woman off, <laughs> these are the things that you need to do, okay? Um, <clears throat> and obviously, if you want to attract women, then you need to do the opposite of these things. So one of the things that will make you look really insecure and unattractive to women is if you are indecisive and you are um, letting her come up with the plans, um, asking for her leadership, getting her to do um, make most of the choices and things like this. So a basic one that I use all the time is when you're asking a woman out on a date. Okay, So let's say you ask her out on a date and she agrees to go out on a date with you. And then you say something like, so where would you like to go? That is one way that you're showing a woman that you are indecisive, okay? And she won't find it very attractive. If you want to appear more attractive, then offer a suggestion. So let's say she's agreed to go out on a date with you. You can say something like, great, how about we meet at the steakhouse um, at 7 p.m. on Saturday? That shows decisiveness. Indecisiveness is when you are asking her what she wants to do and um, making her make the choices essentially. So if you want to appear more attractive, be decisive, okay? And if you want to look needy and insecure, be undecisive. Not, Don't be a leader, let her be the leader, okay? So Another way to basically show that you're insecure and unattractive to women is if you're unsure of yourself and you're not very confident. So let's take an example of um, you're sitting at a restaurant and you're feeling unconfident. So you go and get her to, even if you may give her your card to pay for the meal, you get her to go and pay for it because you're insecure and you don't really want to talk to anyone. That's a, that's a way to show that you're insecure and unsure of yourself and worried and um, you're dithering and you're hesitating. And another way that you can uh, show a woman that you're unsure of yourself and insecure is if um, you take ages to ask her out on a date. So let's say you've been chatting to her online for like weeks and months, but you haven't asked her out and said, hey, you know what, I'd really love to see you. I'd really love to go out on a date with you. When are you free? So if you don't ever do that and you're just sitting there chit-chatting to her and hoping for her to make the first move, then this is going to be appear unattract, uh, make you appear unattractive and unsure of yourself, not very confident, and she's going to pick a guy who is more bold because obviously she might be talking to other guys, and those other guys in her DMs are probably saying, "Hey, when can we meet? When when should we hang out? When do you want to hang out?" And and she'll be like, "Okay, well yeah, I'm free here, I'm free then," and then she'll go out on dates with those guys and be sleeping with those guys while well, you're still in her DMs waiting for her to make the first move when she's already been made moves on by other men right so you don't want that kind of thing to happen to you so be bold be decisive because you don't want to if you're really interested in a woman it's the worst thing that could happen is you eventually she starts seeing someone else and she stops talking to you and she's in a relationship with another guy and you thought oh my god I thought things were going really well that's one of the worst things that can happen and it can really make you feel horrible about yourself um I've seen it happen to me that kind of thing has happened to me um so what you want to do then is, is that you want to get to the point when you start talking to a girl that you really like, get to the point, ask her out, start meeting her on dates, start sleeping together, get the ball rolling, get that thing starting to roll into a relationship if that's what you're looking for. Okay, be more confident, be more bold, ask her out, don't be waiting around and dithering and hesitating. So another um, habit that will make you look insecure and unattractive to women is if you're more invested in her than she is in you. So the way that I describe this is that um, you kind of need to match her energy. Her, you've got to match her level of investment in you. So let's say you start dating and um, she is already starting to say things like, oh, I like you. I, I, think, I, I find you really attractive. And she's saying these things to you. Then that's okay for you then to start doing the same thing. But if she is distant and you're unsure if she likes you, um, the worst thing you can do is try to do more and try to get her to like you by messaging her more frequently um, or trying to see see her more. So what you want to do is, if she's being unsure 
and um, she's not messaging you that much, do the same. Match her energy. Okay, because if she really does like you, eventually she will start to things will start to pick up and she'll start to reach out to you more and message you more and you'll start seeing each other more. Um, but if it's the opposite of that, then what will happen is maybe she'll it will just all fizzle out and that basically what you'll start to see is that okay, well that just wasn't meant to be. She just wasn't that interested. So it's always a good idea to match her energy and match her level of investment in you. And sometimes you may even have to do less than what she is in order to tip the scales back, okay? So another thing um, that you need to focus on and need to really consider and think about as well is if you are really worried about what she thinks of you. So if you're really worried about saying the wrong thing and, you're, and you feel like you're walking around eggshells because you're just too worried about annoying her and uh, pissing her off essentially, um, that shows another sign of unattractiveness and insecurity that women won't find attractive, okay? You've got to be confident and bold and believe in yourself, okay? So those are my uh, tips on <clears throat> um, habits that will make you look insecure and unattractive to women and basically their remedies so you can look more attractive to women. So if you're hoping then to attract the woman of your dreams, I've got a book out which is literally called Attracting the Beautiful Woman of Your Dreams, which you can find and read for free on my website, or you can get a physical copy from Amazon. And what's really cool about the physical copy is that it's got a discreet spine. So if it's on your bookshelf, um, no one's going to know that it's about <laughs> attracting women if you're a little bit ashamed of the fact that maybe you haven't been doing so well with women. Um, it's also only 90 pages. under It's under 90 pages, so... Um, or it's 100, uh, under, under 100 pages, so it's not very long, so you're not going to be spending hours and hours reading through it, but I do recommend, as Corey Wayne would say, to go through it a bunch of times though, because it will take some time to actually retain all of the information. There's a lot of also personal stories in there from me, so you can see my personal perspective from when I was dating, and the things, and how I maintained the relationship with my wife, and uh, things like that, uh, etc. Okay, so if you would like to uh, go and get this book, then you can go and do that on Amazon, or you can read it for free on my website. All you need to, get, need to do is go to www.christineloverish.com, and there'll be a tab that says the book, if you scroll down a little bit, and you can read it. Um, and you don't have to sign up for anything, you don't need to log in, it's literally there for you to read straight away. Um, you don't need to do anything apart from click on the tab that says the book. And of course, if you would like to get coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloverish.com and I shall talk to you guys again very soon. Goodbye.